Hey everyone, back again with some retro glasses. Retro controller and a retro game over there. Wait, over there. Must be time for some more NES action. Today we're looking at Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Um, and it's not so excellent. Released in 1991. It's more of a follow-up of the movie, not actually following the movie. And you wander around random places looking for random stuff to lure random people. Places actually aren't random. You pick the place, and then from there it's kind of iffy as to what actually happens. Which is a little weird. But uh, we'll try it out. Somewhere in time, somewhere on the temporal continuum. So first you have to pick a phone number to call. Uh, the first level, I'm pretty sure you have to call King Arthur. You're not looking for King Arthur, you're just going to his house. 555-1377. Five, 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 one, seven, seven. And yes, even though I just told you, you have to dial it every time. They need to play this stupid mini game. You're kind of trying to dial the number again. Because. Nintendo. I miss. So they kind of get enough of the numbers. And not hit these skulls over here. Like that. Okay, I didn't hit it. And I'll bounce all the way back because. That's my thing. This mini game is so retarded. It doesn't make any sense. Let's go. Skull, thanks. It's going right back to that skull. Yep. Skull. Skull. Do we even get to see the game? Maybe not. <sighs> I know I'm bad at this, but. Skull. Thank you. So, as you can see, you can move around. You get different stuff you can throw. Pudding cups, firecrackers, and that sort of thing. You have to collect historical bait to lure the historical people out. Now, here's the fun thing. See, you can't walk in this grass. But if you do it, it does that crap. Yeah, it's really annoying. And the jumps are not very accurate, so it's hard, and the walk around is hard. Now, these guys they either help you or hurt you, and you really don't know which. And, but you can walk on this grass, but now you can't jump on those bushes or stuff. That'll kill you. Not kill you, but make you go like you know, shake your head. And boing. So is this guy gonna help you or hurt you? Well, if it's walking, for the most part, it seems like that they're gonna hurt you. So if they're standing still, you can talk to them. Great. Okay, we can divide that. 
But the minute you start talking to somebody, mm -hmm. they start moving. So are they going to hurt me now or what? Because he's moving now. Let's see what happens if I touch him when he moves. Uh, maybe not. Okay. And you. See that? Yeah, they once mm -hmm. they're moving after they've helped you, if you run into them again to try to mm -hmm. talk to them, they uh, charge you one of your little coins, which is great. But again, the whole "Am I moving? Am I allowed to move here? Am I allowed to walk here or not?" is is a really kind of a dumb mechanic. Notice there's no music anymore either. It's all just sound effect. Quiet is quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, Why is that guy armor like showing through his arm? Armor. Sitting bull is heading west. Okay, so maybe I can find sitting bull over here. But what do I got to lure sitting bull? Not in a castle. And now I have to choose which one of these I want to say. <coughs> Evil of Worlds. What am I looking for? The most elusive sitting bowl. Okay. So I talk to myself in time travel world. That's not uncommon, I guess. Mm -hmm. Another exciting time. Mm -hmm. The fences are like the dividing line. And so you jump over a fence and then suddenly you can walk in grass. It's magical. We'll say this, the world's in the game pretty big. The problem is that you kind of works with detriment, seeing how it's a find the random item and find the random person type game. Now, see this road here? Yeah, you can't go there, sorry. And I don't know where this took me, there's no map. road, I can't jump on it. <sighs> yeah, I know you helped me earlier, but I got to blow you up now. Sorry, guys. That went well. I had music for a whole half a second. So yeah, despite the game being, the movie being about guys who were in a band, there's an excellent lack of music in the game. It's very bogus, as they would say. Thanks for some pudding.
At least you have to be very accurate with those things because. Fifi Swan and Bingo Parlor. <laughs> Most high specific press. prison. Which basically means I start back here to walk around like a Frankenstein again. Uh, let's try and see if I can get some routes. 555-149-19-1490. Five, 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 one, okay. So you don't really know who's next, you get all kinds of fun calls. Alright, five 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 six eight four two. Maybe I should go somewhere else. How do you lose the game? Well see I only have four of those little thingies left, so if I hit too many more skulls, I'm done. So as a kid, you know, you like Bill and Ted, you want this to be a good game, but it's just, it's wander around hide and seek. It's where's Waldo on a large, more difficult, time consuming scale. You have to find the right item to lure the person out, then you have to find lure the person out with the item. 
go on to the next, rinse, repeat, the end. Not my cup of tea, not, I mean, if you want to really like Bill and Ted and you want to wander around like a Frankenstein version of them, uh, yeah, different levels you can play as you play as Bill instead of Ted, and then it's Ted leaving you stuff all around it. Either way, no. Don't like it. Too weird. Uh, I mean, be nice big levels to wander around, but it's just eh, too many weird little annoyances to really make it fun. Um, especially when it comes to the navigation. Can I walk on grass? Can I not walk on grass? And that little time travel beep, 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 boop thing. I mean, it's like they didn't want to kill the characters in game, so the only thing they think of to do to make you lose the game is have the phone booth like run out of power. I guess that works for the. No, it doesn't. LJN, come on. LJN. You no longer exist as a company anymore, but I can still yell at you from the future to the past. Till next time, uh, play some good NES games. This isn't one of them. Play some like Mario or something. Feel better. Wash your mouth out. See you next time.